What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nora and thank you so much for watching. Before we jump into today's video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow your girl on Instagram because you already know we are growing the family across all platforms. So, I know this year we didn't do Vlogmas. I might have mentioned it a little bit in a vlog a few weeks ago. I can't remember exactly, but your girl's just been really busy, work has been swamped, and I just knew that if I wasn't going to be able to fully commit to 25 days, 24 days, whatever it is, of videos going up, I was just like, you know what, we're not gonna do it this year, we're gonna take a little bit of a break. We're gonna take a little bit of a break, maybe we'll do it next year, not quite sure, but I didn't wanna leave y'all hanging and not give any kind of like holiday type content for the channel. So as you all can read from the title, and y'all already know I'm looking down at my handy dandy cell phone, we are gonna get into a gift guide. And this year I decided not to do a separate gift guide for her and his. I kind of mixed it and really tried to pick 10 gifts that I felt like were really good gifts that folks will like actually use and things that you know, hopefully, no matter what kind of person you're shopping for, there will be something for them on this list. And I don't know, I like to think I'm a pretty good gift giver. <laughs> I don't know, in my opinion, I think I'm a pretty good gift giver. And I wanted to kind of just share some ideas that I had for things that I think are really good to give for gifts. So again, I think a lot of these gifts, maybe a few of them might be a little bit more gender specific, but I try to be as gender neutral as possible. I try to think about a lot of different people on this list, so folks that are into tech, folks that travel, um, lounge wear, household essentials, all that other good stuff. So I tried to think about a couple different people on this list, and like I said, I just compiled my 10 favorite things that I think like I would love to receive. Some of these things I already have. Some of them, honestly, I would be putting on my own personal list. And overall, like I said, I just think they're good gifts to give and not like crap that people are gonna get rid of super quick. So hopefully you all enjoy this video and let's jump right in. All right, so for the first thing that I wanted to mention for our gift guide this year are actually air tags. Air tags. Okay, now for anyone who is not an Apple user, this might not be something you're familiar with. I do know they make other versions, I believe, for other like devices, but I am Apple everything, so that's really all I can speak to. But the Apple AirTags, I think, make an amazing gift. Now, whether this is just like a gift, stocking stuffer, whatever you prefer, but essentially what they are, they are just tracking devices that you can put on different items um, or things that belong to you. Um, I know some people even put it on their kids just to kind of keep track of them, but they are essentially like mini tracking devices. Um, I have a few of them actually that I have in my luggage, which I love them for that. Um, I traveled to Arizona a couple months ago and they tried to tell me that my luggage didn't make it and thankfully I had my AirTag in my suitcase. I was able to track it and say like, nope, actually my luggage made it to the airport. It's actually right upstairs. This is where it's located. So. I feel like for people who definitely travel a lot, this is something that would be a great gift for them. But again, even if you don't travel a lot and you do have little ones and you wanted to put it like on their backpack, kind of similar to the tile that I feel like was really popular a couple years ago, but I just love the technology behind the AirTag. So you can actually track this in your Find My app. So like I have my luggage right here. Um, if you are trying to find an actual item, you can ping it. So kind of like when you do Find My iPhone, you can find my whatever that item is and actually ping it. So I feel like the Apple AirTags are a really good gift. Um, they're kind of on the affordable side, I mean, I wouldn't say they're cheap. I think for like one, it's like 25, 26 bucks. And then you can get a pack of like, three, I think for like 70 bucks. Don't quote me on the pricing. Obviously everything that I mentioned today, I'll have linked down below, but the Apple AirTag I think is definitely a great gift. So continuing on kind of with tech items, um, the next thing that I wanted to mention was a charging station. Again, you're probably like, Nora, are we talking about Teslas? I don't have an electric vehicle, what are you talking about? No, 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 no. So a charging station is essentially a device that you could set up anywhere in your home that allows you to charge multiple devices at once. As embarrassing as it is, we do live in a society where we got a lot of different things, all right? We got a lot of different devices. We have a lot of electronics that need to be charged. And I know a lot of us have those sentiments and feelings where it's like, damn, okay, I have one charger that works for three different things, so I can only charge one thing at once. Na, 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 get you a charging station. If you watched 
my recent vlog that I had where um, my family was over and we had our Christmas party, gift exchange. Um, the gift that actually got stolen quite a few times was my gift and it was actually a charging station. So I'll be sure to link the one that I gave um, during our Yankee Swap, but it was from the brand Esvalo. Um, I found it on TikTok. I feel like every content creator influencer was talking about it, but it was a really cool kind of like three-in-one charging station where you could charge your phone, like an AirPods case, an Apple Watch, but it also had a portable speaker as well as a detachable kind of like night light. So I think any type of charging station, again, this is one that I felt like was pretty popular on the market, so I'll have this one linked down below. But I think a charging station is, again, a really great gift. It's practical, it's something that folks will use a lot, and it's something that can still look really cute and aesthetic in your place. So I think that one is definitely a really great gift. Um, when I actually ordered one for the party, I ended up going back and ordering one for myself as well because I am someone who has a ton of different devices that I do like to charge at the same time. So to have something really convenient kind of in one location, you know, by my bed, but then also having the speaker and kind of like the LED nightlight, I think is a great addition to the overall package. For my next item, I wanted to mention card holders or like the mini card wallets. Again, if you have followed me on my channel, you know I am a lover of kind of like super cute small leather goods, card holders. Um, I am someone who does not necessarily always gravitate to a really big bag. Um, I don't carry a lot of things with me, so oftentimes if I am just, you know, running errands, switching between bags, I really only need my phone, some lip gloss or whatever, some hand sanitizer, some lotion, and then I really just take my a little card holder so I think a card holder case or a little like mini card wallet is a really great gift um, again I think this is great for men and women anyone in your life I think would be really great obviously you could go a super affordable route um, if you wanted to kind of go a little bit more of the luxury route. I know I have shared a few of them here on my channel. Um, I personally have two from Saint Laurent and then I also have one from Goyard. Um, again, I love them. They are very practical for my life. So if you do have someone in your life who isn't always carrying a bunch of things and you just need to be able to carry, you know, a couple cards, your license, a little bit of cash, I think a card holder is an amazing gift. Now, this next item is definitely something I've mentioned on my channel before in a gift guide, but I still feel like it's super relevant. A ton of people are jumping into content creation, whether it's TikToks, it's Instagram, whether it's going on YouTube, whether it's doing, you know, outfit of the days, or even just wanting to be able to take your pictures on vacation. A tripod is an amazing gift. And I'm telling you, I think a lot of times people think if you're not a content creator, it's something that you would never use. But I can't tell you how many times I have gone on vacation, whether it's with family, friends, um, you know, my girls and stuff when we're traveling, how often our tripods come in handy when we are trying to take pictures. So whether it's group pictures, you're doing activities, there might not be someone around to take pictures for you all. Um, like I said, I just had my family here. I was able to use my tripod to set up my cell phone to take pictures or if you're trying to get your own little outfit of the days okay sometimes you want to take your own picture and you by yourself and you don't want to just prop your phone up on the wall a tripod is an amazing gift and honestly there are so many of them on the market I'll probably link a couple of my favorite ones on Amazon um, but there are a ton of different options out there a lot of them now also come with their own Bluetooth remote um, the actual tripod that I'm using as well right now has a remote which I think is really great so you're able to kind of capture that content um, on your own but I think a tripod is a great gift it, I kind of feel like the tripod became like the new age selfie stick if some of y'all remember what I'm talking about like granted you weren't content creators but everybody had a selfie stick it was convenient it was easy to take pictures if you wanted to get a lot of people in the frame you could do so I feel like the tripod is kind of like the new age selfie stick so just buy it. Just now I know I mentioned a little bit about traveling and being able to use your tripod, capture content and all that good stuff. I know we talked about air tags, being able to kind of track your luggage as well when you're traveling. Hopefully you're catching my drift because we are getting back to traveling slowly but surely. You know, I have to be in cooped up in the crib during the Panasonic. Folks are traveling a little bit more. And again, I know I've mentioned this before on my channel, but I always, always think luggage is 
a great gift it's an amazing gift it's a gift that again folks will be able to use for a while it's a really good investment but it doesn't have to be an investment in the sense of like breaking the bank obviously there are a ton of stunning you know high-end luxury uh luggage sets out there but there are a lot of really good mid-tier brands that offer quality luggage as well that i think are really good investments and great gifts to give. Um, I know last year, I think I mentioned the Away Luggage brand. Um, I actually now have three pieces from Away Luggage and I absolutely love them. Great quality, um, not super, super cheap. Like obviously you could probably go to like a big box retailer and get something a little bit more affordable, but I think for the price tag, the quality is amazing. Um, the carry-on luggage actually from Away does have a uh, portable charger in it, so you can actually charge your devices. Um, and then they have like the mid-size and then the large size. Um, with that price, you do also get a lifetime warranty, so if anything does happen to your luggage, you can return it, bring it into the store, and get a brand new one free of charge because you do have that warranty. So again, I think the price tag on it uh, makes perfect sense. Another popular brand that I hear a lot about, again, I don't own any luggage from them, um, but it is from Base. I think Base is the proper way that you pronounce that. Um, but I have heard a lot of really good things about their luggage. Um, one thing that always stands out that everyone says that they love is that they have this built-in technology into the handle of the luggage that when you pick it up, I believe the like handle changes colors to kind of indicate whether your luggage is um, overweight or if you're actually under the weight limit, which I know all of us can think of a time when you get to the airport, okay, ain't nothing more embarrassing than getting there, your luggage is a couple pounds overweight, and now you're trying to rearrange what's happening, you got your drawers on the floor, everybody can see what's in your suitcase. It is so embarrassing, and I think it's amazing how Base has that technology into their luggage brand that you're able to kind of track that. Um, they offer a ton of different colors, ton of different sizes. Um, they also have kind of like carry-on bags. They have like overnight bags, weekender bags, duffel bags kind of things in their collection. So I'll be sure to link a couple of their options down below. Obviously, I'll link away as well. Um, these are just two brands that kind of stick out to me that I hear a lot on the market, but I think luggage in general is always a great gift because again, it is something that people will use for a while and will definitely be handy. And I feel like it's something that sometimes we don't want to invest in on our own. I know for me, for a while, I didn't want to really spend any money on good quality luggage until my mom bought me a nice ass luggage from away for my 30th birthday. And I said, yeah, baby, we're going to start investing. We're going to start investing because again, these are things that you're going to reach for every time that you travel. All right. So moving now into a little bit more lifestyle objects. Um, if you obviously have followed my channel, you know, I am super big into health and fitness and my wife water intake and making sure I'm on top of things. Um, I am also one of those people who like to blame my water intake on aesthetic type of cups and just like, you know, if it looks cute, probably I'll drink more water. I don't know if it's true, but in my head, it makes sense. So I wanted to mention the Stanley Cup, okay? New Year is coming around. I feel like a lot of us always have health and wellness goals. We wanna drink more water. And the Stanley Cup has been all the rage now i don't have a stanley cup myself but it's definitely something that i think i'm going to invest in do i need another water bottle no i do not but mind your business because it's cute so that's why i think it's important for me to get it but all seriousness not only is it really cute i do love the fact that it has a little bit of a slimmer um kind of like lower half of the bottle so it fits really nicely into your cup holder if you've ever purchased like any other larger water bottles, Yetis, um, what's the other one, Hydro Flask, a lot of them are really good at keeping, you know, the contents of the bottle, you know, cold or warm, whatever temperature it needs to stay. But baby, they don't be fitting in the car. They don't be fitting in the car. So I know a lot of times people are like, yeah, I wanna be able to drink my water on the go, but it's not practical. And I feel like Stanley did a really good job because it is large enough that you are getting a really good intake of fluids, water, whatever it is but it also fits really nicely into the cup holder. It does have a handle, which makes it, again, really easy to hold. 
and then it got a straw. It has a straw, which I freaking love. Now I know I keep giving this same disclaimer. Of course, do you need to spend, I think they're like 40, 50 bucks. Do you need to spend that kind of money on a water bottle? Obviously not, but again, we're talking about Christmas, sometimes giving something a little bit higher quality, something that's gonna last a long time. And I feel like the Stanley Cups obviously there's a reason why they're all the rage. It's the reason why they are trending and they're so popular because they are really great cups. Keeping along with kind of health and wellness, I wanted to mention the Aura Ring. Now, this is not something, again, that I have myself, but baby, trust and believe it is on my list. I'm honestly probably gonna just buy it for myself. Now, the Aura Ring um, is essentially a piece of jewelry that you are able to wear. It is really just a ring. It kind of like looks like, well, my ring up is kind of turned around, but it just looks like a solid band that you're able to wear. I think it comes in both gold, silver, it might come in black as well, but it essentially helps you track um, different things kind of within your body. So if you were kind of to think of like a Fitbit, an Apple watch, like your Garmin, kind of like fitness watch, but instead of it being a watch, it's in a ring style. Sometimes when you're at home, you're not wanting to wear your watch anymore, but you still wanna be able to track, you know, your breathing, you know, your steps, calories, um, you might wanna wear a ring. What's also really cool about the Aura Ring is it also helps keeping track of your sleep cycle and your sleeping habits. Granted, yes, are these things that you can do on a lot of these fitness watches? Of course, but I don't know about y'all, I don't really wanna wear a watch to sleep. Now, for the most part, I don't really wear jewelry at all, but if I am going to wear anything, like sometimes this ring that I have on this finger, I almost never take off anyways. So I feel like with an aura ring, I would be okay wearing that to sleep. Again, I know for some of you, you'd probably be like, Nora, this is not practical for me because I wouldn't wear it to sleep. But if there is anyone out there, again, who is super into health and wellness, you're having a hard time sleeping, you feel like you don't really get good sleep, and you just kind of want to track different things to understand what you could do to kind of be better and improve, and again, just kind of track different things throughout your health and wellness throughout the day, I think the Aura Ring would definitely be a great gift. Again, I love how sleek it is. It is something that you could wear throughout the day, both men and women. It's not super jarring and super alarming that you would see. It's just really sleek, and I think it's a really great gift. Um, I know like obviously for a lot of these fitness watches people don't like the way like the band looks. Some people don't want to wear this style watch all the time. Sometimes you want to wear a traditional uh, you know kind of like analog watch or whatever it might be. So I feel like the Aura Ring is a great gift where you can still keep track of a lot of those day-to-day -day activity within your body without having to be attached to a watch, which I think is really, really cool. Um, and then I believe there is an app that you download onto your phone that allows you to keep track of all of that there. I know I'm probably missing some other key details around it. Um, I've been doing some research because again, it is something I'm looking into purchasing for myself. But I think the Aura Ring would be a really great gift. As always, everything will be linked down below. Let me know if any of you have purchased the Aura Ring. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Has it worked? Whatever it might be. Let us know down below. Now, my next gift idea might be a little bit personal. So depending on who you would wanna give this to, maybe I'd say, I don't even wanna say proceed with caution, but just kinda of be a little bit weary. Some people might love this, some people might take it a little bit of the wrong way, but again, just kind of thinking with new year, um, you know, wellness, our own personal journeys, growth and development. Um, I think a journal would be a fantastic gift for someone in your life. And I am going to specifically recommend the five minute journal. Um, now, this is something that I purchased um, at the end of last year. Um, it is a six month journal. So yeah, I'm actually getting ready to complete my second one for the year. But the five minute journal has been life changing for a couple different reasons. For one, I am someone who at the beginning of the year, I am going to buy every single journal on the market. I'm buying all of them because at the beginning of the year, I am ready, okay? We are rebuilding and we are coming into the year stronger than ever, but baby, by February, you know, Super Bowl, I've already fallen off because sometimes I just forget. It's too many pages, it's too many, it's just too much to incorporate into my life, which is one thing that I loved about the five minute journal is that the daily prompts are short they are short, sweet, and straight to the point, hence why I think it's called the five minute journal because you are honestly only supposed to spend both morning and night together 
about five minutes in this journal. Um, and I love that the prompts again are super short, sweet, straight to the point. Um, and it's very much a gratitude journal, you know, just talking about things that you're grateful for, what are a couple different things you wanna accomplish for the day, and what did you learn? And I found myself reaching for this journal every day, every morning, and every night. Like I said, it is a six month journal, um, and I'm getting ready to finish my second one for the year. Y'all, I cannot tell you the last time I've ever actually filled a journal from start to finish. Um, and my five minute journal has been by my side all year. Um, every time I travel, I take it with me. Um, some of my friends, even my cousins are super shocked like when we go on vacation in their life. Oh girl, you're not lying. You really journal it. Like you really brought that with you. And I'm like, yes, it has genuinely become a part of my routine. Um, and of course, I'm not saying it's like a magic cure-all, but it has for sure helped, you know, in keeping me grounded and grateful for the big things and even the small things that happen in my life every day. Um, it's provided a little bit of structure every day, which I really thrive on, um, you know, especially working from home, it was something that I needed. So um, I think any journal for sure would definitely be a great gift. Um, again, might be a little bit personal depending on who you're giving it to. So kind of proceed with caution, but I personally wanted to suggest for this video, the five minute journal. Um, I, I just think it's a great gift. Um, I think it just shows that you really care about that person and their personal growth and journey so take a look into it I think it's a really great gift um yeah <laughs> all right and for our last two items I did want to mention just you know kind of your cozy at home uh kind of like lounge you know type of gifts I think these are always great things to give um they are sometimes things a lot of us don't like to invest in but we do love having so I wanted to mention just a cozy pair of slippers. Listen, slippers? 12 year old Nora would have been annoyed that you gave me slippers. 31 year old Nora is like, can you get me six? Because I absolutely just love my slippers. I find myself buying them all the time. I'm on Amazon every couple of months replacing them. Um, I just love a good pair of cozy slippers. Again, a lot of us are spending a lot more time at home. Um, so I think it's just nice. It's something again that you are going to use all the time. And a lot of times that we sometimes forget to buy for ourselves that I think they obviously just make a great gift. You could obviously go super inexpensive, like I said, on Amazon and get a couple pairs there. Target I know has a bunch of great ones. You could obviously invest a little bit more. Um, I just ordered a pair from Ugg that I thought were super cute that I saw from an influencer here on YouTube. I know Anthropology has a couple different options. I mean, there are a ton on the market that I think, again, both men and women in your life would just love a good pair of cozy slippers to have around the home. Don't be walking around your house barefoot. I know my cousins and I have had that conversation and I know some of you do. But listen, put, 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 put some slippers on your feet. Especially if you got folks coming into your house and letting them wear shoes in your home. I know that's another controversial one. I tend to let people just wear their shoes so I for sure am walking around my home in some slippers. So get, get, get the loved ones in your family some slippers. And last, but certainly not least, it would not have been a Nora Justin gift guide without me mentioning Skims, okay? Skims. But I am specifically going to say a sleep set from Skims. And again, this is actually a very gender neutral gift because they do have sleep sets for men, women, kids, and your pets, okay? Kimberly said, stop playing with her, okay? Stop playing with her and she got sleep loungewear for the whole family and your fur babies, okay? And one thing about us black folks, we gonna put some clothes on our pets, okay? So I am telling you a Skims sleep set, a Skims lounge set is an amazing gift. I believe right now she does still have some sales and some gift sets for sleep sets. So <laughs> how many times am I gonna say sets? Take a shot every time I say set, set, set. Okay, anyways, she's got a sale, I believe going on right now, but I mean, y'all know, I love Skims. The quality of the stuff are amazing. Um, and I just think they make a really good gift. Again, a lot of these items were things that I thought of that people always need, but we sometimes don't like to actually invest in for ourselves. 
So why not gift it to, you know, the loved ones in your life. So all right, y'all, and that is all I have for you today. Hopefully I wasn't talking too long. I wanted to make this video um, a little bit, hopefully on like a short, sweet, succinct side of things um, that it could be a nice little reference point for you all if you're still struggling on some last minute gifts for folks. Um, hopefully this gave you some ideas. Again, let me know if you have purchased anything that I mentioned today, um, especially the Aura Ring. If there's anyone who has used it before or is using it currently, let me know what you think down down below um, let us know also if you have any other ideas of things that you're gifting you know the loved ones in your life um, but hopefully you all enjoyed this video um, happy holidays and I will see you all in my next one bye y'all good good time doesn't matter if the snow is falling